Hello, I'm Lady Michaela. I'm here to tell y'all a Bible story today that comes from the book of Acts. The new church was doing well and people were being saved. And the gospel was being preached to everyone. Some of the Jewish leaders didn't like that, of course. And the king, who wasn't well liked by the people, thought that he would get on the good side of the Jewish leaders by attacking the church. He had one of the Christian leaders, James, killed with a sword. They probably chopped off his head. The Jewish leaders were delighted. Hmm, that went well. Let's do it again. He couldn't exactly chop off James' head again, but he could arrest another one of his disciples. Go get Peter. Put him in prison. After Passover, we will give him the chop. So Peter was arrested and put in jail. And make sure the guy doesn't get away and spoil my plans. Make sure there's plenty of guards around. Peter was delivered to four squads of soldiers. That's a lot of soldiers for just one man. But Peter wasn't exactly helpless. The Bible says that Peter was kept in a prison, but prayer was made by the church without ceasing unto God for him. The Lord save my brother! The Lord save my Peter! That night, while Peter was sleeping, changed to two guards, an angel came into the prison and hit Peter in the side. Get up quickly! <laughs> Peter followed the angel through the wards of the prison and out the iron gate. He still thought he was dreaming. They passed out the prison and down the street, and then the angel left him. Wow, the Lord saved me from the chopping block. I better go to the church. Now the church was gathered at Mary's house praying for Peter. Named Rhoda came to answer it. Who is it? It's me, Peter. I'm back. Oh, I'm back. You did it. You did it. Rhoda was so excited that she forgot to open up the door. She ran back to the saints and they were praying. Finally, the saints went to the door and let Peter in. They were amazed. 